So, you want to know how to play Forgery, hmm? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to edit this clip because we're supposed to be playing it tomorrow. And so, um, I kind of need this right now. So, the basic thing you want to start off by doing is coming to your your box. Uh, my, ma my inventory is a bit messy. I don't want to delete this armor. I look so cool. I'm keeping it. Alright, so what you want to do... First of all, is you want to come to your chest. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's a shulker box, of course. You see, that was your first test to see if you could point out that that was not a shulker. Uh, it was, it was a chest. Um, it was a chest, everyone. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get your food. That's obvious. Just craft all of them. You want to craft a crafting table. All right. And then with the crafting table, you want to craft a good helping of sticks, then a wooden pickaxe, and you want to get your stone, right? Once you've grabbed your stone, you're going to want to place it down, and you want to just go right to the furnace. You don't want to do anything else. You want to go right to the furnace. If you're feeling cheeky, get two of them. I would actually kind of recommend. It doesn't take that long to get 16 stones, so let's just hold this down for a few more seconds. And... There, oh, one off. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to craft two furnaces. And the basic objective of forgery, right, is that you want to protect this flag. In the original ones, you could use the wall to, like, hide it in, but that's pointless. You could do a technique that is just this. It's like, oh, where's my banner? You can do the tower method, which I'll show you in a minute. Or just like a few more. The only ones you obviously cannot do is put it into the furnace. That is literally so pointless. So you want to put diamond ore into one and iron ore into the other. I don't even do that in my regular games. And while that's happening, you want to go ahead and organize your inventory to the best of your ability and you want to wait until you get th just three diamonds that's all you need you just need three diamonds you don't need the rest and you can just smelt the ores straight up now the obsidian here it's very important you want to leave four because that's what it is for an enchanting table because there's books right there and you also you put a diamond with that and that's great so, what you want to do is take that offhand the diamond ore, craft a diamond pickaxe, and you want to right click and left click at the same time, and you want to just, you want to just hold that down for a few minutes. There will be a five minute grace period in Fortree, so that nobody can hurt you, nobody can touch you, nobody can do anything. They can look at you, stare at you, and be like, why are you doing that? But they can't do anything about it. And in the stadium, there is 45 blocks of height. So you want to make sure to use that. And do your best to not go outside the box. So that's, that's obvious. Um, boink. I hope you're following along at home <laughs> before you play. There you go. Helmet. Leggings. Boots, and obviously then you want to put them on, which obviously I already do. As for enchanting, you're really going to want to find your own best time to do that. You take the iron out of the thingy now. You can search up shield if you need to. You will see, you want to make a shield. And then with the diamonds that you have, if you don't have enough, you want to keep getting diamonds until you can make... All the, all the tools. You won't need a sword, you need a pickaxe, you need, you need an axe. You, you just need them. So harvest those up. Haste is on, so you should be able to do this really fast. There you go. Look, I'm already, I'm already done through the thingy. And then, what you do with the banner, right, over the course of playing Forgery, you'll hopefully learn how to play. Um, you don't actually want to build a tower using gravel. I've learned this. 
So you want to grab the unburnable wood. Let me see, this is a situation where you need that axe. Because the second is going to slow you down. So you want to just go up. I usually go with the tower method, so that's the one I'm going to show you. That command block, by the way, it starts the timer, which I don't need. Uh, fireworks will go off when the game is begun. The grace period is off. So you want to go up. I put this nice border around the box so you can really see it. And then once you're up there, what you want to do is make a platform. Now this is not a tutorial to do this exact thing. This is just giving you the brief idea of what forgery is. It's a very simple game. I think anyone could build it in their creative world. Wouldn't recommend it in their survival world, but if you really want to do that, then sure, go ahead. It is Minecraft, and there is physically no way I can stop you. So please, go. Make it. Make it! Make it in a stadium. By the way, I still have to hook it up so the lights can be turned off. I have to put that there. You see? Right there. I have to put them there. That's going to be fine. Um, then surround the obsidian. With that. And then, it's up to you if you want to make this into like a sort of castle. I usually do. And then once those fireworks go, you go into the other squares and you try and find the banner. Now, in our new game, I think we allow it so that you just have to blow up the banner. But, no. Um, you have to find the banner and then you have to bring it back to your, your base. right? And then once you've done that, you have to declare it flag captured the colored flag captured right put it back in your base somewhere secretive so that's part of the challenge there is only 14 t so i'm not really worried about you just blowing everything up <sighs> so once the time has elapsed or the time has gone off you can very easily just do this i don't think i grabbed my tnt but it's definitely there you don't want to do something like what I'm doing, which is just doing a skinny ass tower. Drop some TNT down there. Uh, use your poison motion. Build out. And after a while, you should get it and you should learn how the other players play. Yeah, that's a, that, that's forgery. Essentially, that is that is forgery. I don't think I missed anything. Five minute grace period. You want to grab your wood, then make crafting table, then grab your stone, mine the stone with the wooden pickaxe. Then you want to make two furnaces, because that's more effective. I've never even done it, and that's, that's the way to go. Then you want to smelt your iron and your diamond, and then with your diamonds, you obviously you make your diamond pickaxe, and you mine the rest of the diamonds. And then you make a shield with your iron. And then whenever you find time, if you find time, literally, I don't know how you play, <laughs> you will develop. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, you craft a crafting table. No, not a craft. We do not craft a crafting table. You craft an enchanting table. Right? Um, let's just say I'm enchanting my axe. And obviously, you get lapis from right here. You don't need many. Efficiency. Yes. Efficiency one, unbreaking one. And that might just help you get through the hard stuff they put down. And yeah, should be fun. Hopefully. Uh, I'm probably going to have to unalive myself before this game starts, otherwise I'm really going to have far too many enchantment levels. Oh, and also if you die in here, you don't have to pay for anything. It's free. It's still another place to play three mini games. Again, we're doing Spleef and Farm and Fortree. Is that cool? Is that cool with everyone? I think it should be. 
yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment the word poetry.